What's going on everybody? Trailblazer891 here and I want to welcome you back to another Destiny 2 video. Recently in an interview with Edge Magazine, Mark Noseworthy, the executive producer for Destiny 2, talked about why Bungie decided to lock the frame rate for the new game at 30 frames per second on consoles. In the interview, he's quoted as saying, It's about the simulation of the Destiny world. 30 AI at once, large open spaces, six players, sometimes with vehicles, and drop ships coming in. That's where we're using the CPU. He went on to say, could we make a Destiny game that ran at 60 frames per second? Yes, but the space would be much smaller. It would be less cooperative, and there'd be fewer monsters to shoot. That's not the game we want to make. First off, let's start by saying it's a little disappointing that this game, the second generation of the saga on the so-called next generation consoles, still isn't running at 60 frames per second. And that includes the yet to be released Xbox One X. I mean, when games are released for beta or even after purchase, the very first thing reviewers do is check the frame rate of the game. You think developers would get a hint after a while. But when I sit back and I really think about it, would I rather have a game that is visually stunning but is not very interactive, that loses my interest after only a week of playing the game and then I put it on the shelf and never touch it again? Or would I rather have a game that still looks pretty good, just not stunning, and is extremely interactive and has tons of staying power by ensuring that it is able to be played for months or even years to come? I'll choose the second option. Now, there is a way to get the best of both worlds, and that's to buy Destiny 2 for PC, which was not an option for the first game. On PC, there are no locks on frames per second, and with the right hardware, the game can be played at 4K resolution. So, once again, even though we console gamers are incredibly loyal, even to a fault sometimes to our preferred console, we fall short of the capabilities of the so-called master race of PC gamers. So, let me know what your thoughts are on this topic and which platform you're going to be purchasing Destiny 2. I personally will be getting the game on all three platforms, PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. Thanks for tuning in, and make sure you guys hit the like button and the subscribe button, and as always, I'll catch you guys next time.